A question I always get about the Yodo's Make Your Own card is is it easy to add music or audiobooks? I thought that I'd make a quick video to share with all the new or to be owners how easy it is to do this. Adding music is fairly easy and doesn't really take much time. The harder part is probably getting the music and audiobook files from services we use such as iTunes or Audible. I'll get to that a bit later after I explain how to add the content to these cards. The make your own cards are fairly inexpensive, but the introduction card that you get that's included with the player also doubles as a make your own card. So you always have one to start to test to see if you like it. You can add content files two ways, either by making a playlist on your phone through the app or through the website on a computer or a laptop. I'll stick with the website method as it's easier to work with. Go to Yodo's website, then go to the make your own section. Scroll down to the visit library slash make playlist and click it. This will ask you to sign into your account, which afterwards you can see all the playlists you've made or add a new one. Press add playlist and you'll be brought to the screen where you can name the playlist, give a description, and even choose a random artwork or upload your own artwork file. Here you have two options to add content, either add audio or add stream. Add stream is when you link an internet radio station. You'll need a direct link to the audio stream for this. The other is what we're more interested in, adding audio. Here you can select the files you want for this particular card, whether it's music or audiobooks. Currently the file formats supported are MP3, AAC, and M4A. The MP3 are more common music files, while AAC and M4A are files from Apple's Music or iTunes. If you want custom pixel art to appear for different tracks, press what looks like the plus icon to change the pixel art. Yoda already has a large library of different pixel arts, but you can also use your own. A great place to look for icons other have made and shared is the website yodoicon.com. As far as I know, it's not officially affiliated with Yodo, but it's a great site for all sorts of pixel art. After you're done, simply press create and the playlist will be made. Once the playlist is made, you can link it to a make your own card. Keep in mind that only one playlist can be linked to a single card, so you can't combine multiple playlists onto one card. Find a playlist in the app and press the link to a make your own card. You can link a card either through your phone or a player. I generally find it easier with the phone since it's already with me and I don't have to go grab the player. And that's pretty much how you add any audio content you want to one of these make your own cards. Usually though, the problem most people have is how to download or convert audio content they already own to work with Yodo. If you use iTunes, it's fairly simple as you have the option to download the files directly to your computer, which allows you to upload to Yodo. All right, so I'm gonna show you an example of how I'm gonna go and download something from uh, Apple Music. Um, once you find something you want, simply click on the download icon that's on it and it'll download. And an easy way to find out where the file is, go ahead and click on three dots, go to show in Finder, and you'll go ahead and see all the files you just downloaded. And you'll notice that they are .m4a files as this is from Apple Music. Audiobooks, on the other hand, are a bit tougher. Many audiobook files from Apple iTunes have DRM, which means it's protected and doesn't work as easily. It requires additional software that I haven't looked into since I don't have any audiobooks from iTunes. However, I think the most popular audiobook company is probably Audible, but they don't make it easy either. They don't offer any way to download the MP3 files to allow you to upload to Yodo, at least not a file type that Yodo is compatible with. However, there are a couple software out there that can help with this. The easiest is to use a paid one called Open Audible that syncs with Audible to allow you to convert audiobooks you already own into MP3 files. The other software is called Libation, which is an open source software. While it's free, it does take more tinkering to get working. I only have a Mac, so I can show you how that's done, but I assume that Windows is fairly close. All right, so here is Libation's website. Um, just go ahead and go to the download section. I'll have all the links down below, just in case you want them. And here it will bring you to GitHub, which is for most of the open source stuff. Uh, just make sure you download the correct version you want. Um, this top one here is for Windows, and these are for Linux, and these two are for Macs. Uh, the top one, I believe, is for the new M1, M2 chips, the newer Macs, and this one's here older. I have an older laptop right now that I'm using to demonstrate, so I'm going to download the older one. Once that is done downloading, let's go ahead and open it. Once it's extracted, you just go ahead and drop it into the application section. And one thing I want to note that here, you can go ahead and click on the libation right here, and it'll bring you down to a file where you can see some more additional how to install features or guides to it. And 
what I am looking for is Mac because there is one additional thing that you have to do in Mac. Um, it tells you which files you wanted, like I said earlier, but you need to go ahead and open up terminal with this. So let's go ahead and press copy here and find your terminal. Um, I know many people don't use this, but it is right hidden here in others. And you just simply paste it in and then it'll ask you your computer's password. And after that, you're all done. And like you can, you, know, you can't really see it, but Libation should open immediately by itself afterwards. All right, so it's done loading. Um, here you'll see this little thing that looks kind of scary, um, but this software is fairly safe. Most open source software are pretty decently and okay safe, as long as you get it from GitHub. All right, so here you have an option to select. I generally like dark mode. I can select new user as I have not installed anything on here. You can follow the guide. It's pretty quick. I do want to note that everything on this app isn't exactly the fastest. Um, it might be my computer's a little bit old since this is a 2017 laptop. However, I did notice that even on my M1 Mac mini, it wasn't the fastest. And after you're done entering everything, make sure you select where you're located. I'm here in the US, so I select that and I push save and you're good to go. I just go ahead and click OK for that part. Personally, I like selecting where I want everything downloaded to as I'm not exactly sure how easy it is to get you the default folder. So let's go ahead and just add it to my downloads. Let's put this section, that's pretty good for me. Go ahead and push the next tab and I'm pretty much ready to go. You can do a little bit more reading into this, but usually I've left it just as the default settings and it worked out pretty well. Here you can select how good of the quality you want it. Um, I generally always just kind of left it as is and has not messed with anything and it seems to work out pretty well. Okay, so first time you do try to log in and sync, it'll ask for your password. So go ahead and enter that. All right, so once you've logged in, you're going to see all your audiobooks will load up. Um, I have 593. I don't think I have that many books. Um, but yes, it does include some of these things like the New York Times Digest. Uh, I found it easier just to sort by title. And say you want to download something. It's fairly easy. It's fine. Let's, this book right here called Dim Sum Please. Um, it's a nice little dual language, bilingual language book that my son likes. Just go ahead and double click it. Yeah, sorry. You double click the little icon that looks like the red, red, yellow, green light. And once it's done, you see it's says finished. Um, you have the option to actually click here, um, do right click on it. And you can go ahead and see locate the file just if you forget where it is. And it'll show you the files. As you can see, it's a M4B file, which means that it is actually not compatible with Yodo. So you're going to want to go ahead and um, right click it here and then push convert to MP3. So one thing I've noticed is that this app, you say you want to now convert it to MP3. If you click on it, nothing really happens. It's because this process here thinks it's already done. So you just have to actually clear it first and then go ahead and try convert to MP3 again and you'll see it continuing the process. And now when I go ahead and locate the file, it'll show the, MP, the M4B file and the MP3 file. And there you have it. That's how you go ahead and get stuff from audiobook. If you already own some audiobook files from Audible that you want to use for this, either option I just showed you isn't really a horrible investment of time or money. But if you haven't purchased any books yet, then my suggestions would be to look at Libro.fm. They have the option to download the files to your computer for easy uploading to Yodo without the mess of needing to do all that conversion stuff. Let me know down below in the comment section if you have any other questions and I'll try my best to answer them. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and until next time, keep parenting the awesome way.